Hey guys, we're hey. we're we're here. We're Dif live. Yeah, different bat channel, different bat time. Well, I guess same bat channel, different bat time. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but yeah, let's get it started. We got so much to to do tonight. This is gonna be fun. Oh, that's pretty cool like, hey guys um so we are back and I'm, I'm so excited for that sorry that we weren't here on 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 tuesday still recovering from the the covid, COVID. yeah the COVID. <laughs> oh my goodness yeah my, my voice is coming back I, I today i was doing school with jack and i had to there was a huge section that I had to read. And, um, by the end of it, my voice was just sort of okay, buddy. But, um, but yeah, that. Um, but I, I, I feel I feel so lucky, so blessed in so many ways because um, Jack got sick with COVID, and then and then we both got sick just pretty much right after that, like the next day or two. It I know like. it was a bit odd for us to assume we weren't going to get it. Cause when Jack got it, we had a couple of gigs and we were like, we were like, okay, we can isolate, you know, I, yeah. we wiped everything down because we also have somebody here renovating the bathroom. So I was wiping knobs. I was wiping everything down and where we were wearing a mask mm -hmm. around each other. No, no, it, it is so contagious. We all got it. The yeah. Working yeah. On the bathroom got it. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, if you if you know, so, so anybody out there that that hasn't gotten it, we we, we could tell you our experience with it, and all, and, and we were safe. Like we, you know, we're we we have all the vaccinations, we have all of our shots, and all that fun stuff. And um, but so yeah, it was it was, although I kind of I kind of thought that we would get it. I mean, cause we were we were already kind of having the symptoms, even though we took the test and we came up neg negative for it. We 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 were like in the early stages of it, I guess. So we weren't yet. Um, like for the quick test, it works off the end, the enzyme. So, so if you're not contagious, you doesn't show up on that test. Yeah. And we weren't contagious at that point or anything. And, and, but, but we we're being really careful and we didn't want to cancel any of the gigs because I had a couple of speaking gigs this week. And, um, you know, and we didn't want to be, um, we didn't want to cancel them too quick, you know, because if we were negative, we were negative. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We had just found out that, that Jack, like he, he was positive. He had a really minor case. And by the time that he would be out of quarantine, it would have been okay for the gigs and all. So, so, and we weren't, you know, sick yet. So we were just playing it by ear. And then whenever we started getting the first symptoms and all that from it, we thought, man, so we had to cancel and, um, which is, which is fine and everything. And we're, we're going to re reschedule. Yeah. Everything's that. pretty much rescheduled. So. Yeah. And the main well, thing is just keep safe. Like we weren't, we were just really worried about giving it to someone. Like we didn't want to. You know, we don't want to be that person. I mean, it's just so. It's Thanks weird. for the gift. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird because it is. It, it's. I assume this new variant, but it's like super contagious. But it, but it wasn't. It's not as that as bad as like the flu. At least you know if you're lucky enough and you know all that fun stuff. But, yeah, it's weird, and we and we were fortunate, I think, in that we had the vaccinations. Like I think yeah. there's like a misnomer for <clears throat> some people. I think where if you get vaccinated, it means that you won't get it. There's so many variants, there's so many different things, you know, yeah, um, you're, fact, you're factors and stuff, but <laughs> man, I, I do have to say, like, I really feel like it made it, it go a lot easier, a lot better. Yeah. Uh, because, um, because I could tell that I got sick, but it was like, it was like my body was already starting to fight it, you know? So I don't know. I know that's a weird thing to say, but you can, you can almost feel it. Yeah. I could feel like coming down with it. And then it started like to ease up a little bit. So it was just like, it was like, it was like my body already, already had like a, like, you know, it already had some ammunition. It took a yeah. while for everything to come on board, you know, everything come online and really started <clears throat> fighting against it. But it, you know, but it, yeah, it was different though. Like it didn't really go to my chest uh, or chest or anything. I sounded like a 90 year old smoker. It was a little. Yeah. Like, yeah. You did. Yeah. Yeah. And, I didn't get, I didn't get a fever like you and Jack, but I mean, which you guys only had like a tiny fever for maybe half a day, but yeah, I, I just sounded terrible. Like I, I felt okay, but I, I mean it, you, you could have, I could have definitely been mistaken for, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. And smoked and, forever. And I only ran a fever at 90, not 99, but it's funny in my family, like me and my mom, I don't know how many of people in my family our our normal temp is not, it's 97. So whenever we're running 99, we're, you know, we're actually running hot. Like we're, we're not one of the 98.6ers, you know, we're, 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 we're a colder source. <laughs> and so, so when I, when I'm 98.6, I'm actually kind of, I'm already, I'm already almost two degrees up and it's, it's weird, but it's, it's just, I don't know. It's just something runs in our family. And um, so, so 99, I was feeling pretty warm, but, but yeah, that's not that, it wasn't that, 
But um, but I want to thank everybody. I'm still having trouble with Facebook on my phone and all, but I want to thank everybody so much for all the amazing comments and warm warm wishes for us. That that really it meant so much. And 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 thank you. I um, it's hard for me to, to write back to it. Uh, man, I was just I feel like I'd been darted. I feel like Ace I mean, Ventura. I think that's part. <laughs> yeah, it's too many. It's like oh, I, I think that's so part funny. of like the illness is you don't. I mean, like it's that's the long part is, is you just feel tired. Like you're just tired. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe unmotivated. Maybe I'm just unmotivated. No, no. I, at first I thought, I, you know, it's funny. Like last, last Tuesday, like Tuesday before I was like, I was like, man, I thought it cause, cause Jack, we'd find out that Jack just had, we just found out that day. Mm-hmm. And, um, and I thought, man, I'm, well, I'm so sure that I have it cause I'm so tired. Yeah. And I, and I made the joke a lot. Like the last live stream we did was like, well, no, it just turns out I'm old, like apparently, because we, we got the <laughs> negative test. And it's like, oh no, I'm not on COVID. I'm old, but apparently I was just. Well, there. Sheila's with us. Says glad you are all better. Thanks. Well, thank Definitely you. feeling better. Um, my mom's with us from Daytona Beach, Florida. Love you. Man, you're you just know, you just live in Florida I, now. I'm I'm a little worried she's not coming back. <laughs> I was wondering about that too. I thought I thought well, you know, um, it'd be a good excuse to fly out to Florida. Though. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, yeah. she probably needs somebody to help her look for a place, stay there for a while. Yeah, yeah. Right. You, know, you, you gotta trust. You gotta try out the guest bedroom, make sure everything's <laughs> working well. You know, you gotta you gotta make sure all the beaches around there. I mean, are you well. gotta like, yeah, you gotta put your foot in the water, see if it's proper temperature. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But, no, but but um, we, we've been fo- <clears throat> following you on the socials though, and it seems like you're having a blast. I'm I'm so happy. Oh, you, you know, I, I saw I saw where Marilyn went out to like the turtle trail. Oh know? yeah, looking for your turtle. Man, yeah, it's not out yet, is it? No, but no. But there are days. some other cool turtles that that they came into contact with. Um, and that's I, cool. Yeah, I assume yours is. Which I'm, that reminds me, you okay? So so John did a um a gig, gosh, two years ago for the Fort Worth uh, Trinity um the tram the 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 oh gosh I'm gonna oh the, yeah the train yeah. stations. And um, they just installed it Monday, Ooh. and um, so we're supposed to go out there um, this Monday coming up to get pictures with it. So we'll share with everybody that you know all of that. Man, that'd um, be cool. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty. That's exciting. awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. COVID really, 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 really took a, a bite, bite in that bottom, making it um, take take so long to get know, out. Like they they crazy. started they started the project, and then COVID hit, and it was like, well, I guess we're gonna wait a while to put yeah. it up. Hey, but I started a new painting today. Um, oh, and also I have the dog painting over there. I could go grab it. You haven't seen the changes that I made. To the dog painting? Yeah, over there. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, but I don't know if I can, though, because this painting here is an 18 by 24 inch. Um, the dog painting is three feet by three feet. So me trying to bring it over here, I might. I could bring it over to I you. might knock everything I, I could bring it over to you. Let me say really fast. Um, Barbara Brands joins us, says, yay, good to see you back at it. Hey, Barbara. And Ron's with us, says, hey, guys, glad to see you're back. Hey, Ron. Hey, Ron, I saw, I saw that you did a message. I haven't read it yet, but I saw them. My, I don't know if you heard my Facebook's all jacked up on my device and everything but but i saw that you you had a message though whenever i was trying to link all this stuff tonight and for the stream so so i look forward to reading that man uh and then fred's with us and says howdy howdy guys glad it went easy on you so yes yes thank, thank you thank you it, it it was so thanks so um, much, i will say my computer's a little laggy i don't know what's going on it looks like it's still connected over here but mine is kicking me off periodically but i'm just mm. i'll just jump on like if it kicks me off I'm going to bring over the painting to you while you talk about that painting. Okay. Leah, well, yeah, here, let me, let me show you this painting guys. So, 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 so I apologize. This, um, this, this is my, this is the painting that I've started and I'm sorry for the weird angle. It's, um, it's, Oh, sorry. I just hit the camera. Uh, um, um, it's yeah, they, because it's a smaller canvas. I have the camera here at a weird angle, but, um, but it's going to be a landscape painting. Oh, and it's going to have so many great, Colors, I'm just so excited. This is such a great painting to work on after coming after feeling sick and all. And oh, please, no, oh, yeah. sorry, yeah. If you put it on the, the front, it'll, yeah. I'll, I'll thank sweetheart. There. Sorry, J- 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 Jackie was just bringing a, a canvas over to me, and, <coughs> and, uh, right? But, um, so this is supposed to be British <coughs> Columbia area, is that the yeah, yeah, this, this is gonna be water in here. So this is just roughed out, it's a little bit of an underpainting on it and all. So sorry, I just hit the camera, guys. I apologize. Um, so all this is water. So you can see the water going along here, and there's land. Oh, sorry, I just hit it again. See, this is a problem with it. Yeah, I, I was trying to. I really need the camera higher, but I, anyway. So there's 
let's see. There's water back here and it's coming around this land here. You got these tall trees that are going to be up there. So uh, all this, um, the green here is where there's going to be a stand of ever evergreen trees going going up this mountain. There's more trees towards the top, um, but but you can see the rock bre bre breaking through in areas. So that's just what the colors are standing for. It's just I was just trying to work out some areas where um, where where there was going to be rock and where and where um, like like the stands of trees were going to be and all all this sort of stuff. So that's what I'm working on. There's a couple. It's this is actually a commission. And the couple wanted uh, like a silhouette of them. So down here on this bank is going to be a little bit of a darker area. And they're, they're going to be sil silhouetted almost in shadow, almost just sort of they're walking out of shadow and uh, into a lighter part. And just beautiful reflections coming down. As you can see, I've already put in the water a little bit. Uh, so all this is water. But um, the idea where the, the trees and the rock are going to be um, reflected down in here. So all this is just stuff for me to feel, to, to know. Um, there's the basic composition back here is going to be a sky. I'm not sure about the color for the sky yet, but it's, I don't know. It's a, it's a great, wonderful, like, like colorful kind of piece just to play around with. And, um, so now I have this, the dog painting and I'm wondering how to show it to you. Um, yeah, the problem with the dog painting was it's huge. Yeah. was that this is, oh, it's all set up for a tiny <laughs> painting. So I can't, I can't, I don't know if I can really show it. I might could bring it over here. Yeah, it might be easier over there because okay, you're so on. far my, away. My computer is booting me off consistently of StreamYard. So. Okay, I think I think you're still on here though. So I mean, if you want to take it over there. Okay. All right. <clears throat> oh yeah, it says it says um it says you're not connected. <laughs> well, that could be tricky for the trivia. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, well, that's cool. Though. I I can set up the trivia. I wonder why it keeps kicking you off. Is anybody else getting kicked off? Oh. Are you over there? I'm sorry. So you know what? That's probably heavy. Let's let's talk about the painting. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's talk okay, about this, random this everything is the else. Dog painting. Okay, so there's so there's, a there's the dog painting that I've been working on, and I'm gonna try something. Um, so so this is the dog painting. Um, it's got Jeter and Tyson and Maverick in there, and so this is what I've been working on, guys. And um, during during the whole the whole COVID time, so that that painting really helped quite a bit getting through that and so i'm not sure if i'm completely done with it i i stopped painting on it today a little bit i'm gonna let it rest for us for a for a moment um and just and then start working on it again you know but i think it's cute oh you know i i love that painting uh it's a commission of course um but it's um you know but if that guy doesn't like it then surely somebody else out there with a with three dogs named tyson jeter and maverick will love it yeah yeah exactly <laughs> exactly there's got to be a ton of those people. <coughs> There's nah, a but, ton of those people. But, it, but it, it's really funny. It's funny too because like when I was working on it, um, the the yellow lab, um, the, the yellow labish dog, um, Jeter, I, <coughs> I, I had to, I, I repainted that dog three times. So it's had three different versions, laying different ways, like different faces, different expressions and stuff. And finally on this one, I painted it and and I just felt kind of right. So I don't know if the if the shading and all that's in there yet. But the expression, I was like, well, hello, Jeter. It was like, finally, I felt like, you know, I was just like, oh, finally, like, I feel like I, I got to meet the dog, you yeah, know? Yeah, that's cool. That's it's just kind cool. of a weird feeling. But it was the same way, like, with a chihuahua. It was sort of that, too, because his face was so blank for so long. And then finally, I got it. So I was like, oh, I know you. It was like, oh, I just want to, I don't know. Anyway, I know that's silly, but, you know, I'm a silly guy. Well, Randy's with us, says, hey, y'all, glad you feel better. Thanks. Hey, Randy, happy almost birthday, by the way. Yeah, that's right. And uh, Fred says, it's fun to see them um, from start like this. Thanks. And uh, Christy's with us, says, hey, guys. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Um, and Fred says, wow, the dog one turned out very crisp and clean. Uh, I guess the solidness uh, of the turf. Oh. So the Yankee Stadium. Well, thank turf. you. Yeah. That's kind of weird because they're, they're over the insignia for Yankee Stadium. And. I, I intentionally had them obscure it. It's like it's like it's like New York, you know, it's the NY or the Yankee Stadium. And then, but I, I've been going back and forth because I, you know, because they're they're really laying on it. So you're, you know, unless you just really really know that symbol. Well, his dog's named after it, so I'm gonna give. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm hoping because I'm they, they're it. they're covering so much of it that you're just seeing parts of it poke out. Yeah. Because I didn't. It's such a big symbol and all. I didn't want it to take um, dominance over the dogs yeah. or whatever. But I wanted it to really place. I mean, also it says Yankee Stadium in the background and all that. But I wanted to give it like the idea, like they're out on the field, and then the dog is laying on a pillow. But it, but I want it to be like a seat cushion. So like, 
almost like it's a day out at the stadium, and then you know, the three dogs I are there. It was laying on a base. Um, well, like a like, it well, looks like a base. It like the, well, it the can also base. be a base, but they're they're kind of shaped the same. So I can yeah. see where you get that. Yeah, yeah, it can totally be a base. You know, what, a I base. like almost like the base better. Because, it is a base. It's a base. Or a seat cushion. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's one of those. Hey, you're back on here, by the way. Good, good. I'm. I will see if. Hopefully, when we do trivia, it doesn't cut out. Oh yeah, well, that would um, be cool. <clears throat> Felicia has joined us. Says, "How's it? You can describe your paintings in such detail, and notice that she's carrying a large piece of your. If if you're blind. How she's carrying a large? Piece? Like me, I guess carrying the painting over here. Oh oh oh. You know what I will say about, about this question and, and all, you know, a lot of questions that are like, how do you do this? Or how is that? Mm -hmm. And you've said this before is that sighted people don't realize how loud they are. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Like every, like we make so much noise that we think because people, you know, you take it for granted, you can see. So you're like, no, they're not paying attention. They can't, you know, whatever. But we make yeah. so much noise just the sheer, like, breathing you you know where a person is and what's going on yeah it's it, it's funny it's it, it's one of the uh, one of the the most common question that a person who's visually impaired is asked is um is are you really blind because people are so surprised you know if you're if you're visually oriented everything is so so vision oriented i mean <laughs> yeah, but but it's funny because it, it's 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 to such a degree that that sometimes very often like you stop paying attention to your other uh, other senses so like an alarm could be going off and you don't even notice it or your phone or you're, you're not even hearing it because you're just looking at something so hard, you know, and there's other things going on, you know, you, you're, 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 um, you could be cooking something on the stove and it's burning and there's smoke in there. And then suddenly you're just like, you're, you're like, you're jolted away. Your other, other, the, the other senses are just like so much in the background. And it's funny. You if don't I realize, well, and, and this is, <laughs> this is funny in our house because Jack, our son is 13 and he has loud tendencies just being a 13 year old. Like when we're in the living room, you know, he may eat loud. He may, you know, dig at his bowl with a spoon loud. He does all these things that. Ching, 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 <laughs> ching, 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 that's not the, the, the sense I'm attuned to like you. And all of a sudden you'll be like, Jack, set. you know, or like Jack, come on or like whatever. And it's like, Oh, Oh yeah. That, that was kind of annoying for the last five, 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's funny. So like, so I went when Jackie, well, she told me she was going to go get the painting. So that, that was my first clip. And, <laughs> and, and, and then she brought it over here and she was, she was laying it against it. But then I, I felt the corner of it, but, um, I, I, I deal with canvas all day, every, you know, every day and uh, not all day, but a lot of the time. So it was the front of the canvas and, and you can't really lay a canvas on its front and, and all, um, especially a heavy, a heavy canvas like that, because it, it could, you know, cause a little problem. So I was like, oh, move it around. And, and then, and then she moved over there and it's hard <coughs> to see on the camera, but Jackie's probably about seven feet away is all. You know, so no, she's, yeah, yeah. She's I'm, on the other side of the camera. It's not that big of a room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The other room's not that big. So if she's not here, she's there. And, and um, I don't know. So it's funny, but you get you, you get used to things. And um, and it's funny what, what you get used to. So that's a really good question. But it's <coughs> – pardon me. Um, it's really funny what, what you get used to. And, and you forget that other people don't necessarily know. Mm -hmm. And also there's so many different types of vision. So – for me, um, light hurts my eyes and all that. And so, so, so I, I, I'm blind, but then somebody else could be blind and they might be able to drive a car even, you know? Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah because yeah, the of of their, 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 their type of vision, um, they're, they're, it's a legal type blindness where, you know, there's just, it, you know, it depends on your acuity, like how, how many, uh, like, I don't know. There's, there's so many different things. Measurements. Yeah. So whenever stuff. somebody says, oh, oh, this or that, <clears throat> I, you know, I can definitely see where it might be so confusing. Well, Fred said, um, uh, just listen, so many sensory distractions that we tune out. That is so true. And then um, Joan has joined us. This is pretty, pretty awesome. It says, greetings from in uh, Istanbul, Turkey. I'm the manager of SRF Armagon. Um, oh my goodness, I, I know, isn't that really? cool? Oh, uh, I have so much respect for the beauty of your art. S. Roth sends his greetings from another blind artist. That is so oh my word for anybody that doesn't know this. S. Roth is, 
I mean, he's pretty darn famous like oh, in will. the in the world of like blind artists like if like you were gonna you oh. you know you guys were supposed to do a show in new york together or, or a, a well, talk and all this stuff so yeah yeah we're gonna get a talk and then esther if bless his heart like his um um he was he was having some health problems so it didn't work out but it was gonna be at the met and um but that's it's one of the things like when i whenever i started painting i didn't know of any other blind painters at all like i thought i was i lost my mind i thought i was crazy like I, I, I thought the whole idea of a blind person painting was crazy. And then the first person that I learned about that was a visually impaired painter was Ezra. And, you know, and it was just incredible. I, I never got to meet him. I never got to, to, to talk with him or anything. But knowing that there was somebody out there, though, that that had, had been doing this, you know, I thought, hey, if, if I'm crazy, at least I'm not the only one. I mean, he's like OG, man. Yeah, yeah. It's just brilliant. His art is beautiful. That's really cool. Well, thanks for tuning in, Joan. That, that's awesome. But past- please, please tell him that I have so much respect for his yeah. artwork and the way that he has helped guide so many people. And if it wasn't for him, I don't know. I mean, I, I started painting before I knew about Esther, but seeing that, though, it was just like, I don't know. It was, it was like, it was like, come confirmation that maybe i was on the right path you know if that makes any sense that very hey, cool. at least i'm not the only you know weirdo out there without vision that's trying to do it so that's brilliant so <laughs> man so if anybody is looking for some really cool art to go check out go go please to, to check out Ezra's art definitely well and fred said my eye doctor sh- uh said i should not drive without glasses so yeah and there's probably quite a few people out there <laughs> that should, oh man shouldn't drive with or without glasses yeah and um gosh i'm I'm painting gosh I, when's the last time i painted on here like you know i don't know you we, we we've gotten into this habit where we're, we're on the we do this and then mm-hmm. and then you talk you're a talker i know i love talking he's a, he's i look forward talker. to getting on here and chatting with you guys so much i used we i mean it's almost comical like just recording like what you're actually painting and and you might get like an inch down <laughs> i know i know here lately especially but but i i swear i don't know i don't know what it is on this covid if it's that you know while we're all more secluded a little bit here and there um but just i i look forward to so much just hanging out with you guys and chatting and stuff it's just i don't know so yeah i'm bad but right now i'm using this it's the same paint that i draw with and right now i'm painting the the lady i'm just filling her in and i'm just making her a basic black the guy i'm going to do the same too but i'm leaving his um his head's going to be black but his shoulder and his back I don't know if you can see these lines here. Um, so it's these lines right here. I'm gonna make that a little bit lighter, I think. I don't so know. So if they're they're in silhouette, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so if they're a... silhouette, are you gonna like really put the 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 light source in front of them super bright to like cause that silhouette? Yeah, and I might I might go in and actually light light lighten them a little bit, but um, but I'm gonna go ahead and make them all black just to start with. Um and it doesn't have to be perfect. That's one thing, too. You know, it's like with the art. My mom is getting back into painting, which is so cool. She's been out of it for years. And she just paints for fun. You know, she doesn't, like, try to sell any of her, any of her paintings or anything. It's like, it's probably one of the, it's just the pure form of art. You do it because it makes you feel better. It makes your day go better and all that. So, which is just beautiful and brilliant. And um, I forgot where I was going with that. I swear. I started talking about painting being beautiful and brilliant. And I completely forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes it is, just, it is beautiful and brilliant it's so brilliant but uh, <laughs> well let me say um let me say wheels has joined us and says hey guys i'm glad you're feeling better Good hey morning. mark um great to see you on here man yeah um and felicia says uh it makes so much sense having someone to to confirm home um i think that was in regards to the last comment i don't yeah 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 and then um Oh, Joan said, uh, thanks for the call out. I will share your remarks with him. You had something else in common. He and his wife also had COVID. Oh, oh no. That's alarming. Well, Ugh. good. I like I like I like to hear that he had COVID. Yeah. Because you know, yeah. that's 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 a good thing. Yes. Man. Yeah, well, well please please do. I I I wish you I I wish him the the the, the absolute best. And and if there's ever anything I can do for Esther, man, please please let 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 me know. I, I, I want to meet him. I know. I, I've admired him for years and years. <laughs> How cool is that? Um, And then Ricky's with us and says, good to see you guys back. Hey, Thanks Ricky. Thanks for tuning in. It's great to hear from you. Um, and Felicia says, it, 
um it, oh it makes sense it makes so much sense having someone confirm how you feel so that makes that makes sense and fred said there's always a lot i'd like to share with y'all good chats oh so. man that's awesome yeah i mean i i literally i know I, well, usually i tell people because i started painting in 2001 that when i started painting i thought i was crazy like like you know like people were gonna gonna gonna, gonna light, light me up but I really thought I was crazy. I mean, I didn't know of any blind painters, and there weren't many. Like Ezra, if I think might have been the first person who was visually impaired and blind. And there was like maybe um, some people that had some some impairments and things, but you know, uh, but not but not like Ezra, you know. Yeah. So, um, and and that that was kind of I mean back in two thousand one. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't know. Like I didn't know about any of this sort of stuff and nobody at the college did or knew that I was at or anything. So I thought I was nuts. So hearing about that, you know, I mean, I just did it cause I, I was so depressed and I was so angry that I art had always been my way of dealing with that when I was a kid. So just getting back to art where I could get these images, these ideas out of my head, even though I didn't think anybody would ever see it. I just had to do something because I was literally losing my mind and, and painting was my way of dealing with that. And then, uh, and then I was so fortunate to um, be in a, a, a place where I, I was able to find the skills, like able to take O and M and be able to start doing that. And then run into some people that were equally as crazy, like 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 me, Jackie over here. <laughs> who I mean, imagine this: like as crazy as I was to think that you know, hey, um, I'm going to paint. I'm going I'm to be a non-visual. Like I'm going to I'm a I'm a painter, and that's what that's what I spent all my time doing. No one's ever going to see my painting. And then for this crazy kid over here to 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 say, hey, you know what? I want to go out a date on, on a date with a guy like that. <laughs> you know how how much how much? Gosh. Oh my god! Well, goodness. you didn't question the fact that I served drinks and measuring cups because I was out of glasses and had five ferrets. So <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> you know, everybody's got everybody has their everybody's thing. got their thing. Yeah. Um. Okay. So we were gonna we're gonna do trivia. We're gonna do some trivia. Oh yeah, and this could be different tonight. Yeah. Okay. Because we don't know the trivia questions either. This is gonna be interesting. It, it's a, a and and I'm doing it from my computer, so I'm gonna get us all kind of. Ever since I get I got kicked off, it kicked me out of this. So hold on. Okay, so so I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the easel off. That was not too crazy. Okay. Um. Yeah. So so this is actually just a, it's a trivia game online. So maybe you could tell like, it's like it's like the ultimate trivia or something. It's just a it's an online page. So everybody anybody can go to it. Um. It's a trivia quiz thing, but um. So okay, so we're up. Okay. But it's all random, so we have no idea like what the questions are going to be. And we want to do that. general knowledge, right? Yeah, we could. Yeah, let's do okay. general. Or, Unless you want to about... do dictionary, food and drink. Geography. If Jack was here, he'd be a ringer. All right. Science and nature. Dictionary is okay. good. It's all just course words, which I, I love, but. I would lose. I would well, lose that one. And, and also, there is a time limit on it. I don't know what the time limit. Like, oh, okay. I think you get more points when you, but I don't. Well, who, dang. Who, who now, could, I, now, now I'm not. Who cares doing... about points, though? We'll just. I feel the pressure. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're going to do general knowledge. Let's do that. Okay. This is interesting because it looks different on my thing. Okay, which of these is heavily sweetened rice wine used in cooking? Oh, 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 I think I know that. Oh, gosh. Well, do you want to just try and say it before I give the, the, the list? Go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Right. Okay, <clears throat> A, Mirin, Mur Murin, uh, I think. B, Turin, C, Darin, or D, Sarin? Um, I think it's Mirin. <sighs> But really? we can see what other people think. Well, um, Barbara said, uh, I enjoyed listening to your time on the podcast. You were totally in your element talking. Oh, oh. Um, thank you. And Felicia says, I have three of your pieces, two of which I am looking at right now. Oh, that's nice. Well, thank you so much. That is so sweet. Um, and then <laughs> Christy said, <coughs> five <coughs> ferrets, question mark. This is a story I need to hear next time we meet. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I, I, I have some. I have stories yeah yeah you you could not take your socks off because one of the ferrets was crazy <laughs> the white ferret well, oh it would go after your big toe fly. and try to swallow it super fly, yeah. super fly. <laughs> i forgot that that's his name I, I did have 10 ferrets at once I, I rescued ferrets which was the deal and um i did have 10 at once but i think in college it pretty much kind of dwindled down to five anyway all right so <clears throat> super flies mom what do you what do you what do you think it is um okay a lot of people are saying a is that um, is that Mirren or Mirren? Uh, let me go back. Uh, yes. 
Aha. Well, I have no idea. I'll be honest. I have no idea. So I'll go with the crowd. Mirren. <coughs> Aha. Well, 10 points, people. Look at us. All right. Um, I'll take them. Okay. Which word contains the past tense of come? A, locally. B, predicament. C, scampered. Or D, cocaine. Gosh. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Um. Gosh. Oh. I feel like you're on the verge over here. Pre predicament. Really? Kane. What makes you say that? Fred said about the last question, well, it ain't sake. Um, because because pre pre predicament has the word came in it. Past tense of come is came. Uh, oh. Predict game it. Oh, look at you with your your you know Sherlocking it over there. <laughs> Okay, well, some people some people think it's um uh okay. So a lot of predicament, uh, and Ricky said scampered is a question mark. Yeah, yeah, it's really. very much a question mark. That's, that's what I was thinking too. Just because uh, it's <laughs> surely it's got to be scampered. I mean, I'll be the an ringer awesome word. and say cocaine. Ooh, that that's ridiculous though. I mean, I think that I don't think that's the answer. Okay, so we're gonna go with predicament. Is that the deal? Sure, I guess. I, I, is that what you think? Is that what I mean, that, 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 yeah, that, okay. Let's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a hard see. one. All right, here we go. 10 points. We're awesome people. <laughs> Look at this, man. Wow. Um. Okay, which actor died of a heart attack in 1994 at aged 43? Ooh, 19, what? what, what okay, 1994, aged 43. A, John Belushi. B, John Wayne. C, John Ritter. Or D, John Candy. Oh gosh, I, I mean, was thinking John Candy, but it could be Ritter. <clears throat> what did Ritter die of? He's like your hero. Oh well, um, Ritter was in the middle of filming. Um, what was the show? It was like, oh gosh, I, I only know Three's Company, and I know no, no, no. it was uh, because you you know the girl, the woman from um, Married with Children that sh he was doing a show oh. with her. Like he does enough or something rules or something anyway he died like mid-season and they actually oh. played it in the show like they man they they killed off the dad in the show Dang. because he was oh, sorry dead. guys oh, sorry. oh i don't know if that's on or not maybe. anyway okay let's see what what people are saying I'm thinking um, John candy okay yeah a lot of people are saying ritter we got lots of ritter some people are saying john candy fred says john belushi i don't i don't i don't think it's john belushi i don't think i'm gonna go with no <laughs> Um, Fred said that's like IQ test stuff. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> yeah, it's okay. It's hard. Um, I mean, what do, what do you think? I I, I want to say John Ritter What's died with when John he Ritter? was forty three, but but ninety four seems like a lot. I, I want to say it was like John Ritter died in like two thousand and three or something. Okay, well let's let's, let's pick it because if it's okay. wrong, um, if it's wrong, you 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 can still keep 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 get get guessing. Oh, okay. Well, oh, okay. Okay. The majority say says John Ritter and Eight Simple Rules. That was the show. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see. Was oh, it John Ritter? No. Okay. I'm, I'm thinking John Candy. Yeah. Yes. Let's go with that. Okay. Plus five points. Dang, guys. We're falling off. All right. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking. It, it, I think he died in the 2000s. Yeah. I just, the reason I thought it was Candy was just because, like, the, the, the movies that, that we know about them are all in the 90s and stuff. So I thought, yeah. well, you know, that's, yeah, yeah, didn't yeah. make any mm. for that. Okay. Uh, which word can be reading material or can mean to reserve a seat? Um, oh, I, oh, I think I know this one. Oh, I know. I think I know this one. A, magazine. B, book. C, paper. D, diary. Yeah, I guess. What do you think? I think it's book. Yeah, I think it's book too. I was going to say, when, when, when they said reserve a seat, I was saying like, oh, oh to make a booking. Mm. Oh, Julie says John Ritter died of an aortic aneurysm. That's right. Oh. That's right. I knew. It. I, that's right. Good call. Thanks. Thanks for letting us know. Okay, a lot of people are saying B book. I think that's. Uh, I think that's the answer. I think it's cool though, because like I, I always liked John Ritter. It was like Three's Company. It was you know, and you hear you hear like tell tells about the guy, and, and nobody ever seemed like oh he's a jerk. Oh yeah, he's but 
but like, but, but you're the first person I met. I was like, yeah, I'm a fan. Like, I'm a fan of John Ritter. Like, yeah, I'm a, yeah, yeah. He yeah, was, you know, thought, and oh, he was a good, he was a nice I guy. Didn't even have fans. Like, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know that sort of thing. Well, he was a really nice guy, and then you, and then you, you know, you hear, but you know, his son was is on Drunk History a lot. Oh, so that's, oh, is he really? Uh huh. His son's you have an actor. To play that out next time. That'd oh, be so cool. Well, well, yeah. Jack and I were watching a few episodes the other night, and I was like, oh, my goodness. Okay. You know his name? Something Ritter. <laughs> cool. Mr. Ritter. <laughs> Mr. Ritter. Okay, so book was right, people. Way to go. <clears throat> All right. Um, Here we go. Which actor has played Bernie Fokker and Raymond Babbitt on the big screen? Oh. Oh, this. Okay. I think I know. A, Alec Baldwin. B, Gene Hackman. C, Clint Eastwood. D, Dustin Hoffman. Oh. Okay. I know. I know this. Yeah, yeah. I did too. I, I had the wrong actor. Until you started mentioning some of them, I thought, oh, oh, okay, I had the wrong way around. But, uh, yeah, because, yeah, at first, at first I thought it was, like, De Niro. But then I was like, oh, no, 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 okay. Fred said, uh, it's great watching old Three's companies. Ritter was so agile. <laughs> he was, he was, he was like a gazelle. Yeah, you know, I used to really like that show. But my favorite episode was that one where, 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 they, where they had that misunderstanding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you that, one? that one? Oh, yeah. yeah where Jack one. was saying one thing and then the girls were saying Yeah, that was, was a good one. That was, that was, that was classic. <laughs> that was classic. <clears throat> um, Jason Ritter. Fred said Jason Ritter oh, is the Jason son's Ritter. name. Okay, cool. cool, cool, cool. All right. So, as for this answer, I, I, we all, we're getting a ton of D's. Dustin Hoffman for Dustin Hoffman. I love Dustin Hoffman, except that sometimes I've had trouble hearing. He is a quiet talker. In yeah, his he's, he's a like, mumbler. The more the more emotional he gets, the quieter he That's gets. That's true. And he goes like the other way, like I could kill everybody. <laughs> <laughs> just like, like it was like good grief. He's just I don't know, but he's yeah, I'm a fan. <clears throat> okay. The Sun King Louis the Fourteenth persecuted which religious minority? Oh man! Okay, okay, okay. I think I know. Uh, A Franciscans. Uh, B uh, Huguenots. C Dominicans. Uh, D Jesuits. Okay, I think I know. I think it's the Huguenots. Yeah. Which is an awesome name. <laughs> it's like, I mean. I would what, like to be, you, you took Latin. What's what's the uh, breakdown of that word? Because you got juggernauts, and I. What what is the breakdown of Huguenots? Huguenot. Um, well, it, there was this really fancy guy named Hugh. <laughs> <laughs> he liked he to really move around nuts. a lot, <laughs> <laughs> and and people say, you know, "May I?" It's like. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, He's like, no, it's can I? We wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't cover, cover that. But I think it's Huguenots. <clears throat> All right. Well, some know. people are saying uh, Jes the D for Jesuits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But I think it's Huguenots. So. Well, you you might be outnumbered. Okay. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, a lot of people persecuted the Jesuits quite a bit. So I, I could be on the wrong side of history on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the wrong side. Okay, okay, okay. I, the crowd says D. Ooh, ooh, this is this is interesting because the crowd's usually right. Uh, the crowd is wrong. Oh, what is it? Well, I'm gonna choose yours next. Oh. Right. <laughs> Take that crowd. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Just disbelievers of <laughs> my okay. Huguenotery. <laughs> Even though I don't know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for the Battle of Little... How many questions are there? Ten. Oh, okay. For the Battle of Little Bighorn, what does Little Bighorn refer to? Oh, oh. A, the Plains of the Battlefield. B, Custer's nickname. C, Nearby River. Or D, Calvary uh, Blue, Buglers. Oh, Buglers? my goodness. Buglers. <laughs> I thought I knew it, but then, but then I'm, I'm, I'm wondering... I, I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't want to throw my idea out there though. Too I am going to so. guess the nearby river. Well, I was thinking it, it, it's definitely like where 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 it was fought. And so whenever you said that it was what, what the the land of the, the battlefield, the plains of it, or something. Yeah. I thought, oh, maybe it was a sex. It's definitely referring to where it was. I think 
But then the 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 river though, the little bighorn. That does sound like a lot of people are saying. Well, we got some seas. We got some seas. I think it's a river. I think you're right. Is is a river sea? Yeah. <coughs> and I think Fred's a bit of a history buff. Ooh. And he said sea. All right. Well, there it's we all go. On Fred. <laughs> yeah. I like that because if I'm wrong, I can just I, I can just blame you can Fred. Blame Fred. <laughs> Darn you, Fred. All right. Um, nearby river. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah. Yay, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, change the last letter of which word to make mentally disturbed. Okay. So you're gonna change the last letter of, of one of these words to make mentally disturbed. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> A. May. B. Mob. C. Met. D. Mug. I mean, I feel like this one's easy. I'm not quite. I don't. Well, I mean, I don't know. Fred I'm said not, I'm, I'm guessing. Not, I'm not getting it yet. Um, well, you change the last letter of it. But May. If you change the last letter of May, what? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I got it. I got it. I, got it. <laughs> I think. I think. I think it's. I think it's May. You think it's May? <laughs> like Mad Mad Hatter. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> All right. Okay. Cool. See, um. That's Ricky, really. Ricky good, said maybe. Diary of a Mad Man. Yep. Yep. You got that one super quick. I'm good at puzzles. Um, okay, so let's choose A. That's right, people. Where'd okay. Go? Dangerous or reckless speed? Oh. Question mark. Okay. A breakneck. B roughneck. C rubberneck or D bull neck. I would do a breakneck speed because I'm a roughneck while I rubberneck. The uh, while other the people rubberneck the accident you just got yeah. into, <laughs> exactly, <yeah. laughs> exactly. But but breakneck speed, I think that's pretty. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go. Yeah, everybody's like, yeah, a breakneck. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay. I'm coughing, guys. <coughs> All right, which word does not contain a number? Okay. A attention. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. I, 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 I see what they're doing now. Okay, I got. Okay. B bar stools. C auctioned. D credit worthy. Oh, okay. Hold it. I think bar stools. <sighs> this is a weird one. Credit. Oh no. Yep. Okay. Okay. I got it. I got it. Bar stools. Is it like? Is it like attention deficit implies number? What, what is the first one again? Wh attention. Attention. And that has one in it. Oh, wait. What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It has 10 in it. I'm sorry. I, I, it has oh, you're right. T -T in a 10. Look at you. You're a nerd. Wait, what do the other ones have then? Uh, forget the words. <laughs> Auctioned. Auction. Auction. One. Um, yeah. Yeah. Credit worthy. Um, two. Um, Credit word. Oh yeah, dang! Look at but, you. But bar stool is just a great place to be. <laughs> it's just <laughs> that's all it is. There's no numbers. Bar stools, <laughs> my preferred place. <laughs> it's our zero 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 zero. Okay. <laughs> that's our that's the place where we recharge. Uh, all right, all right. Let's try bar stools. Um, good, good. we got some bar stools. So all right. really, where you go, yeah, go, guys? All right, we got a ninety. I always knew that we were a clever group. <laughs> Well, congrats to everybody out there. Yeah, I was, I'd say let's, let's 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 play another one, but that that took a while, probably. So I guess, and I'm I'm starting to cough a little bit. I'm afraid of that. I'm trying trying to hold it back a little bit, guys. <clears throat> but um, I'm afraid that I'm going to be coughing more, and it's, it's going to be more and more irritating to everyone. So everyone, everyone, big way to go, guys. That that was a lot of fun. I I, I don't know. I like I like playing that where we all get to play. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. That's well, fun. Neat. That that was that's a good site you found. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, there's probably better things out there. There's like there's like that one site that I was talk, talking to you about. Um, oh, where you play games like the Jack. Yeah, yeah, Jack something. Jack games or something like that. Yeah, and, and that can be cool because there's actually some art, artsy games you can Ooh. play. So maybe we could look into that. And <clears throat> that might be fun. But <laughs> but guys, um, blood bless you, sweetheart. <clears throat> but guys, I, I just want to thank y'all so much, and I apologize for not being on here <clears throat> Tuesday. But I've been looking forward to this, and 
Uh, as you can see, I have not painted a lot on this painting. <laughs> Are you okay, Charlie? <laughs> oh, uh oh, we lost we lost Je Jackie here on the other side of the room. I got a tickle. You got a tickle. Uh, so, <laughs> but, but, but let me show you guys what I'm what I'm doing what I'm doing here, and I and we'll share. Actually, I have I have a. Um, um, I have a, another landscape scene that was actually a four foot by three foot painting that I want to share with you guys, um, maybe tomorrow. And then the dog painting, I'm going to work on that some more. But on this painting, I'm going to start working on it. And a painting like this is just so much fun. It really is. It's just, you know, it's it's nice working on a painting like this when whenever you're coming off. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I think I'm. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm, am I, am I, my Bluetooth here is telling me. All kinds of things, and none of it's right. <laughs> so I well, okay, um, okay. I think I think I got us back. Sorry, <laughs> it was just like triple. No, I didn't mean to hit triple. So Linda said that was cool. I'm. Thank you, to, Linda. Yeah, get back. That was fun. Well, I'm coughing. Well, well, bless you, darling. Yeah, I guess I guess we're gonna sign off here, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna get some cough drops. Um, thank thank y'all so much for 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 watching us tonight and. For joining in, I, I I feel weird saying what what watching us because we're not really doing anything. I'm doing all kinds of things over here. Are you? Well, so thanks so much for watching. Her. <laughs> and I appreciate it, guys. But I really enjoy hanging out, though. This has been brilliant. But um, but have a good night, guys, and we'll we'll see you guys soon. Yeah, thanks thanks for tuning in, everybody. Fred said he had the same issue with coughing and oh, <clears throat> lack of stamina. I feel you. Um, yeah, yeah, and Linda that's... said I was driving most of the time. Thank you for describing your pictures. So, thanks again, everybody, for tuning in. We will see you guys Tuesday, it'll be great. Never forget, you guys are the best. I appreciate it. <laughs> thanks, guys. Actually, we'll be back here in just a few seconds, as you know, because <laughs> I don't I don't know how to end this show in the right sort of ways. So... Bye. <laughs> <laughs>